I think they can be very proud of themselves. And I sincerely hope that when they will go up next year, and when they'll be playing in the junior championship, that I think all the junior teams, if they think that they will have an easy ride from Galbally, they have something coming to them. Yeah. I, I would like to wish them the very best of luck, and I would like to thank the mentors in charge of both teams for the manner in which they had their teams prepared and the manner in which they played the game in a grand and a clean and a sporting fashion. And I think it is indeed a great pleasure for me to present this cup here today to John Kiley. And John Kiley holds a unique record. He's the first Galbally man to wear a Limerick jersey in Croke Park. <laughs> and, and I sincerely hope that will be the first of many green and white jerseys that John will wear. I have been associated with John as a selector for both minor and under 21. I think he's a young man who has shown wonderful commitment and wonderful dedication. He's given wonderful service to his club and to his county. And it is my pleasure now to present him with the County Cup on behalf of the County Board. <laughs> Now, John Kyle here, the captain of Galway. Thank you, Brendan. Um, this is without doubt the proudest moment in any men's career to captain his own club to the first ever hurling title to come back to their parish. Yeah. This isn't just the 15 boys in the field and the subs in the sideline and the mentors, John Neal, um, manager uh, <laughs> Michael McCabe, Jack Dillon. Um, Dennis Ryan, Eddie Ryan there on the background as well, and Tommy Sheehan. Anyone that has ever been involved in hurling back along the years. There's been a long, long road. It's nine years since we won our last county title. Well, this team that, uh, that I started off in, under 14, back in 86. And uh, it's definitely a fantastic moment for me. I don't care what Limerick jersey you wear. To win anything with your own club is better than anything. I don't care what it is. As you can see today, Galbally is some parish. We've got two rugby teams out today, a soccer team. And look at the crowd that's here today. Just a phenomenal setup. Um, what else have I to say? Uh, what? Yes. Tipperary played a part in this. <laughs> they trained us and they played for us and they got several goals there. Danny Neal by back after I don't know how many weeks injury. I played a fantastic game. There's fantastic credit due to that man, lads. The amount of physiotherapies after getting and he gets up every morning, and every five, six days a week, and he's working for us hard. Come on, dear, today and play a game like that with very little training. He's a fantastic man. And thank you very much, Danny. Um, John Neal now, the next man, brother to Danny. Came at no expense to Galbally Club. 18 occasions he came, lads. And there wasn't one worked out him by and some nights we hadn't a great turnout and we he trained every bit as hard as we did in the field and there was one night only a fortnight ago and it did lash rain it was a pure storm and we got covered in shit and puddle outside in the field but that's what wins championships that's what wins county medals um, now to Khalidi Jesus where are you they're behind me here they're a fair tough bunch of lads. I know people from Khalidi with a long number of years. Father Willie Fitz Morris trained me on the 21 there with the county going back about three or four years ago. And they're a, a sound bunch of lads, a hard game. And uh, there's no doubt they'll, be, they'll win one as well. Um, I'd like to finish off now with three cheers for the Khalidi team. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Come on, guys! Hooray!